Christ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you, besties, or whoever you are, um, for keeping up with me. And today we're going to paint. We're going to paint today. But um, I already have the canvas. Um, I already have the canvas made. So this is what I have so far. Okay, guys, um, today, if you don't know my video, we're going to be, this is a train, and we're going to um, give this train a face, a makeover. We're going to give it, like, a little face, a glam face. She's beautiful. She's stunning. She has um, Anastasia makeup on. Like, we're going to give this a face because I feel like this art piece does need a center point. Serves a face. So let's get into it. Waves over time. So welcome. So today, if you can try to guess um, the character of the face that I'm trying to do, um, it's very 80s inspired, very goblin like. Um, so right now, I'm just starting with the face. Um, this is going to be the face of the train, which is going to be a little mm, monochromatic and. I think it's going to portray, you know, the mood of this train a little more better than what I intentionally, what I originally intended, which was like a woman's face, very puffy, very botched. But um, I went for this, you know, almost Stonehenge looking chrome face. And so I'm just blocking in the colors. Um, the main idea of this painting, which you'll see in a bit, is a little mix of everything. I was trying to just put a bunch of um, inspiration and draw it from different types of timelines and periods of time and ephemeras. And finishing up with the mouth right now and um, I'm just using white with a little bit of gray to blend the colors into this um, black uh, train it actually is a very very dark purple I don't know if you can tell but um, I layered it so much that it kind of looks black now which I'm not too mad about so what I was thinking about this painting was I kind of wanted it to be revolved around this train sitting on top of like a blanket of like skin or like a blob of skin and um, when you see that you'll be you'll you'll understand what that means in a second my goal here is actually to make this type of um, kind of a feeling of I wouldn't say deja vu but like of a dreamlike state and kind of something that seemed familiar to you but you just can't quite put your finger on it i don't know if you guys know about these um there used to be these little like povs of what people who have um strokes what they see or what it's like to have a stroke and it was just like a bunch of really like a room full of objects but you can't name a single one and i really enjoyed um that concept of watching all these different types of things and you just you can't put your finger on it or your brain has to fill in the gaps on what it's seeing because it's just so bizarre and so different and there's a lot of elements to it that just it's so oddly together and
So now that we're finished with the face portion, um, I will show you the full painting really quickly and um, we'll decide together what the next step is. I'm really loving the background palettes. I'm really loving this face and how it turned out. I think it looks cool. Yes, so um, then we have this little creature that kind of looks like some kind of, um, you turn it upside down and it's like, this beautiful like spaceman croissant type person but anyways we are going to finish this and i don't know if this is finished because i'm looking at it right now and it's looking pretty like i'm kind of looking for it and i don't know if you can see this but it's just like a bunch of scribbles so welcome back um so finally i decided to just give it a little bit of this words i wrote desmond i'm not really sure why it just seemed seemed right to me um for now i think this is a finished piece that we can go hold off on now i'm really loving the face but i will take some time on it and just let it simmer for the next few days until i feel um that I know what to do with this piece exactly without ruining it and without um, just changing it too much. So that is it for my the rest of my video. Um, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you can, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>